Hello guys, this is What About Nintendo, and today I am here with a very special video. Now, if you've been watching my recent live streams or gameplay videos that I've been coming out with, you've noticed that when I was using my Joy-Cons before, uh, I would be trying to play a game, and then all of a sudden, people would just start moving around all on their own. I'd let guys even put the controllers down, I'd be like, I'm not touching anything. And my Splatoon 2 character is just walking away, just all on his own. Link's walking off the edges. I'm just having all these problems. I'm just like, it's not... And it's not just the left Joy-Con. It's the right Joy-Con as well. Camera, I'll move it, and then it will just keep going even after I let go. And it's not a desyncing problem, because I'm actually really close to my uh, Switch. If you can see, it's actually right... My Switch console's right here. <laughs> the back's not up. That's odd. Uh, fix that. There we go. The Switch right here. So I'm literally... I can touch it from here. I'm touching it right now. And so it's an obviously an idea syncing problem because even when I get it, I, I could put it right, I could touch it, I'm touching it right now with the with the Joy-Con, still it would still do it. So there's another issue and I know a lot of people have been having this problem, that's why I wanted to make this video to tell you guys how I fix the issues. If you've been watching my very recent streams, you'll notice that that doesn't happen anymore. I played Splatoon 2, I was playing, it was awesome. I played, um, I think, uh, Zelda a little bit and it was doing great. Uh, I've just been playing a couple of different games. Uh, and it's been working fine, so how did I fix this issue? That's what I want to get into today. That is what this video is about. So, a little story about how I figured out how to fix it. Uh, pretty much, I went on the internet, I was like, a Joy-Con desyncing issue, and they were just all these problems about the Joy-Con desyncing, it was like the antenna, I was like, no, that's, that's not it. And I was like, well, maybe it's something about it needing to be cleaned or something, and that's when I found out a lot of people have been figuring out that dust is the problem dust is the problem if you look inside the area that's right in where the where the joystick is right in there if you having this problem you may notice that there is a lot of dust caked in and apparently when you move it the dust kind of gets in and then just keeps pressing on the sensor wherever you push it that's why for my, at least in my case, if I pushed it another direction, it would just do it that way instead. Or if I pressed another input, it would do that, but it would constantly be pushing uh, that direction because the dust actually gets in there and clogs it. And the best way I figured out clean it is if you do any laundry of yourself, you probably have, uh, you know, dryer cleaners or these uh, little dryer sheets, as I like, as my family calls them. So just kind of bundle them up, twist them up here, and then just shove them inside that cavity and it just you just kind of wrap it around there and you just get it in there try not to get the little you don't you don't want this part this like stringy stuff to break off and get stuck in there because that'll have the same problems with the dust so be careful of that just go in there and just clean it out there's a if there's a lot of dust just clean it out uh, now obviously this isn't going to fix everyone's issue everyone's issue could be different it could be that you're actually having the joy con desyncing de issue could be that you have a malfunction in your controller but for me if you have if you notice that you have a lot of dust this very well could help and this is what helped me because i i hardly ever have these problems anymore like i used to have them all the time and it's like once in ever a blue moon i'll have it and i'll notice oh the dust is back again and i'll clean it off which is weird i have no idea how dust gets in this thing i literally play like every single day uh if you if you see my streams i stream uh I stream Switch games like all the time and uh, my brothers play it even when I'm not streaming so I don't know how the dust collects in here <laughs> but you can also just blow it out just, <laughs> just get it out there and that's all clean so that should help with the problem but anyways I just want to make a short video on here telling you guys just what helped for me how to fix it uh, if this doesn't work for you this, I mean this isn't gonna fix everyone's problem obviously if your problem's different than mine this is not gonna fix it but if you're having dust issues if you have like a lot of dust in your house some reason my house just gets really dusty for some reason uh, and I don't know why because they use like everything in it but they always get dusty now uh, just go in there and try to if you don't have a dryer sheet you can try like using a cloth or something just get in there and try to get all the dust out blow it out if you have like a uh, high pressure like air can or if you have uh, just uh, any kind of way to shoot air really pressurized you can blow it out of there just any way to get the dust out uh, that seems to help a lot but anyways guys all for this video just want to make a short little update video because this helps me a lot and I really want to help other people out if they're having these uh, desyncing issues if they're having these connection issues or the as I probably will title it the wandering issue that's why I like to call it the wandering issue because you know the character just wanders around all on their own but anyways guys all for this video if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe for more videos monday through friday and live streams those same days and i'll see you guys 
on later on what is about Nintendo. But also let me know down in the comments below if this helped you or if you're having this problem. Uh, let me know if this helps because that would be a real encouragement to me if I actually got to go and help uh, somebody else and fix their problems. It's really what this video is all about. But I'll see you guys later on what about Nintendo. Bye!